Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to you, Akim, that's pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Uh, today, uh, it's going to be a little quick lesson. I was at the gig and I was uh, listening to the radio. And you know how everything is uh, <laughs> uh, supposedly such a tight race with this uh, dog and pony show of an election. So I turn to the news, uh, you know, the news stations while I'm doing my work or whatever. And I came across this guy, uh, guy named Man Cow. It's a Chicago, <laughs> Chicago uh, broadcaster. He's similar to like a Howard Stern, shock jack type of guy. But anyway, he was taking uh, phone calls because he's a Republican and he's pushing that uh, the Democrats, uh, you know, are, are trying to steal this thing or whatever. But you had openly had Edomites uh, call this guy's show saying that we got to have a civil war openly, man, pushing this. All right. Dead serious. So, uh, you know, that's the message I want to convey, man, that he is ready, uh, ready for the, these prophecies, man. They are ready for these things to uh, pop off. Because uh, regardless of who 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 uh, gets in, uh, the prophecies won't fail, you know. Because if Biden, if they steal it, or if they say Biden won, or whoever, or whatever, he's gonna go in the same vein as what they're doing in these European countries, with you know your Australia's, your UK, uh, Spain, Italy, where it's nationwide lockdowns, man. All right, that's where he's gonna carry it because the elite have a date and the elite have a mission. To basically bring down all the uh, the economy of the so-called Western world and bring it into the new world order, man, a new way, a great reset, so to speak. So <laughs> he is desperate uh, to save uh, Babylon, man, but it won't be done. Mystery Babylon will not be saved. And that's the first scripture I'm going to grab. And this is really not going to be long. But it was just uh, shocking when you heard openly Edomites, you know, on this mainstream, because he gets a lot of listeners in the uh, Chicagoland area, this guy. And, you know, Edomite calling, oh, we got to have that civil war. And he really said he's not with it yet. But he was like, if it comes to that, <laughs> uh, it's, it's what we have to do. All right. And this is some serious words, man. This is serious times that we're uh, living in. So just, uh, you know. I'm going to get that one scripture, be circumspect. This is Jeremiah 51 and 8. It says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her, take balm for her, pain. If so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone, into his own country. Right? So a lot of people uh, have left so-called uh, America. Right? Are trying to plan to leave America. You know, depending on what's what, what's what's coming, right? Especially depending on this so-called so uh, election, because uh, people are seeing what time it is, man, and they're trying to <laughs> trying to flee because this place is not going to be fixed, man. These cities are dead broke, and you had uh, the bullshit mayor from uh, um, Larry uh, Lori Lightfoot or whatever saying if uh, Trump's get Trump gets in, man, uh, you know. She's not going to be able to go to the federal government to get funds. So the economy is such in a bad spot. Basically, you're robbing, what's the saying? They rob Peter to play Paul. Borrow money to borrow money, which is going to only increase, uh, only cause uh, hyperinflation, which is also coming, man. So this demon, this Edomite is in the quagmire. I mean, he can't get out of this, man, regardless if it's Biden or Trump. You see? Because if they put Trump or Trump get in there or whatever... <clears throat> Don't be surprised if false flags happen, because that's how much uh, the, the mainstream hates this guy, man. All right. And corporations are, are leaning to the left and mainstream over here. It says we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go. Everyone to his own country for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Right. So these Edomites. You know, I you know I enjoy it, man. They can whine and they can cry. They can say they're they're the victim now. You got other Edomites comp comp uh, <laughs> comparing this lockdown to ac actual slavery that we as the Israelites were in. You know, these people are full of shit, man. But anyway, they getting their just desserts, man. And it's a beautiful thing to see how about you, how was shy, 
uh, bring all these curses and, and bring all these judgments pursuant to Deuteronomy 30, 30th chapter to our enemies. Right. So let me see what else to get. get let me get. Uh, let me get this right here. Because this is the time to really uh, keep your head on a swivel, you know? It's Ephesians 5 uh, and 15. See that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. And this thing is, you know, can cause a snowball effect, a domino effect very quickly, man. You get one of these Edomite supremacists, uh, lose it, spray up a whole bunch of uh, Jake, right? Or on the flip side, you get Antifa and BLM, uh, you know, get back to burning, burning up cities, man. So either way you look at it, man, <laughs> this place is done. It's through. Finito. It says, wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. The Lord said uh, when he comes back, man. To bring fire on the earth, what if he be if it, it it'll be already kindled? Meaning it's going to be skirmishes, uprisings, people against people with swords in their hands. All this is Bible prophecy. All right, all these things are destined to come because you have Hashem Yahweh Shai proclaimed it. All right, and we're proclaiming it. You see, <clears throat> he is is never going to get away with what he's done to us as a people, man. Payback is a motherfucker, man, because we are actually the apple of the Lord's eye. All right. That means something, you know, and the more hell he puts on us, the more Lord is in the season of jacking this devil up. So you're only going to see more and more and more uh, heartache, heartache and pain for the masses, you know. But, yeah, this uh, that calling show, man, <laughs> it was a, it was a, it was an eye opener, man, because this is a, a show. Like I said, it gets a lot of a lot of uh, viewers. Now let me grab this real quick, and I'll end it all. This is in the book of Daniel, chapter five, verse twenty-three. It says, uh, "O has, O has lifted, but has lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven." Actually, let me start at twenty-two. It says, "And thou, his son, O." Belshazzar has not humbled thine heart, uh, that that thou thou knewest all this, right? And this is going to the story of Nebuchadnezzar, and when Daniel prophesied, uh, what was to come, all right? But just like we prophesying against modern Babylon, because uh, it tells you that the prophets before us, prophet uh, prof, uh, prophesied against many uh, kingdoms, many countries. You know, and we're walking in that same stead. That's how you know who got who who has the truth, man. Joe Osteen, right? You know, P T D Jakes. Who are they prophesying against, man? What kingdoms and countries and peoples are they prophesying against? Most notably, it's us, man, the Israelites. Uh, Great Millstone GMS to be specific. Constantly going at these people's heads because it's part of prophecy, man. These kingdoms have to come down. And that's why the Lord is uh, is known as the King of Kings. He's going to wear many crowns because they will and he will take them down. But let's get to the point. It says, but thou hast lifted up thy, thyself against the Lord of heaven and thou hast brought the vessels of, of his house before thee. And thou and thy lords, thy wines and thy concubines has drunk wine in them. Thou hast praised the gods of silver and gold, of brass and iron and wood and stone, which see not nor hear nor know. And the power in heaven, whose hand thy breath is, and whose are all thy ways, has thou not glorified. Right? So, basically, uh, these people have lived deliciously. They have not acknowledged the true power. In, fa in fact, they, they push their bullshit, uh, you know, agenda-filled science, <clears throat> which is not true science. They tell you that there is no God, the atheism. All right? They push all this, uh, you know, idol worship onto the masses of the peoples. <clears throat> so they got a lot to pay for. All right. So them calling in that show talking about a civil war, man. <laughs> you, you fighting a losing battle, but it's all beautiful because the Lord prophesied that they were, they're going to do this. It says, uh, then then was a part of the hand sent from him. And this writing was written. And it's in and, and, and this is the writing that was written many, many to call 
of Harson. This is the interpretation of the thing. Mene, God has numbered thy kingdom and finished it. So just like back then, even now, modern Babylon, modern, modern, modern Babylon is finished, man. It just has to play out. It just has to manifest. All these plagues, the economy downturning, the wars and skirmishes, uh, people against people, right? Hunger, famine, death and destruction is all, you know, pointing at what? Uh, A.K.A. Mystery Babylon, America, and also these other Western uh, countries where Edomites uh, reign, right? And these other heathen going to get it also. But we're dealing with Edom since he is the end of the world, pursuant to Second Ezra. It says, To cow, thou weighed, and the balances are found wanting. Perez, the kingdom is divided and given to, to the Medes and Persians, right? So after uh, Babylon, this modern Babylon goes down, guess who's, who's coming up, man? The house of Israel, most notably. All right, the elect, starting with the elect, and uh, Yahweh Shai leading the way with him and the angels. So these are the times we're living in, which is very exciting. So either way or how long ever they, they push this drawn out process with this, uh, talking about counting votes and this and that, uh, they're going to have... <laughs> Like I said, either way it goes, they got they got multiple playbooks, man. More riots, false flags, uh, uh, destroying the economy. Uh, to uh, having Antifa and BLM uh, burn down cities, man. Right? Or have the good old boys, uh, uh, his his supporters go out here and do major damage so either way man they can flip it paint it a hundred different ways but it, it all spells doom for esau edom but that's the point i'm going to give all glory praise and honors to yahweh shai and say shalom next time